second place in the semi-final. She's already beaten her best last year. What's you know what what's in her head now? Do you think? You know, I think she's probably trying to to keep the pressure on on herself low. It's really easy to get all tied up in this excitement of doing way better than than you think. And I'm sure she's just trying to keep the expectations off of herself because she knows that's how she competes the best. Ima is taught and coached by uh, the Korean team. It's one of the really nice things to see is the teams working together. They treat her like one of their own. And in fact, uh, one of the Korean headsetters calls Ima his student. Uh, he was beaming yesterday after Ima's performance. He was very pleased to tell me that Ima was in the finals in second place. So that's great to see. So Ima just moving quite tentatively on these lower moves. It must be hard to find the balance between moving fast and confident and slow and precise. It really is, that's true. She reaches over, taking the weight on that left placement, keeping her weight on her left foot. Reaches up, looking for the best position on that left edge. So definitely moving a little bit slower than some of the other competitors. That's not, so, not necessarily a bad thing at this stage. Right hand up to that little grey edge. She may be going for the strategy of knowing that these, route, these moves are all very technical and very hard, and so she is just trying to move carefully through them because it's not a route that's going to be how fast you can move through it. It's just a matter of not falling, for the most part. Not falling is definitely one of the names of the game, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> Roman Chernov's tweeted us again, and he said he has some inside info that Masha Edler is actually trained by Alexi Dengin. Alexi Dengin, one of our finalists later on in the men's competition and that she's been training for several weeks in Kirov, uh, one of the biggest structures in Russia, before coming out here to Durango. So Ima's in that Stein. At this stage, I would say that Ima's looking like she just wants to climb and not fall off. She doesn't look like she's attacking it for the win. She just, look like, just looks like she's going to put in the most solid performance that she can. Absolutely, just staying, staying well within herself. Oh, and very smooth up to that left-hand yeah, placement. That was great. And she's got it in the reverse position to Masha had it. So that'll be interesting to see how much rotation there is. In fact, it looks like there's zero rotation as she reaches up for that right hand. Places that tiny, tiny edge under the tool. Matches in. Just shaking out. Four minutes and 48 seconds on the clock. Now at this point, Angelica was all the way on the other side of the traverse. So that gives you some context into how fast Angelica was and how slow, for want of a better word, Ema is. Certainly no points for speed. It's all about holds touched and clips clipped. So, reaches over to the underside of that right volume. And her foot is kind of between where Hannah Rai Songs was and where Angelica Reiners was. Doesn't look like it's popping at this stage, although the left hand just twangs loose there. No problem, and she takes the left hand underneath, moves down, shakes. She's going to have to get that body position all the way down. Ema in the right hand. Looking very, very good. Moving into that into that Stein, very solid there. Yeah, that was a controlled release. And she's going to have to reach up and make that high clip. Looks like she's going to make the move first. That'll be interesting. She's the first climber we've seen do that. She's going to have to reach high and left now to make that clip. Last year in Cheongsong, we saw people forgetting to clip and having to reverse several moves just to make the clip. Oh, to be in. So of course you have to clip every clip in sequence. If you skip a clip and clip another one, it's automatic disqualification. Puts the left leg over the right hand, 
for the fig four. Reaches up, she's just struggling now because we saw them clipping in the other position and this is gonna cost her precious time. And of course, precious energy while she rests in that fig nine. Can hear one of her coaches cheering there. Always very vocal when Ema's climbing. Plenty of time, she reaches up to make that clip and now, oh, even though she's got, got that clip, she's got to do another big reach to take that high right hand hold. And all the energy that she's wasted, let's hope that she can recover some to make it. Takes the left hand, really solid and goes for the reach, misses it first time, but I reckon she can get that. She was ever so close. Just gonna recover in the fig nine, over that right hand, places the left again, switches to the fig four. Takes the right hand, reaches up and hits it. Great effort from Ema McSwiggin. Stumbling ever so slightly over the foot placements. Just over a minute and 40 left. Kicks in. And she's just, she definitely looks tentative as to what she should do. She definitely needs to make this clip before she does this, does this move. Makes the clip. Shaking out. And now with one minute and 19 seconds on the clock, she's got to work out this shoulder move. It's a hard move and she needs to rotate the axe and get her shoulder into it and get her weight underneath it. At this point, it's going to be very hard to hold with all the weight on the right hand side of her body. Center of gravity way to the right, but she's looking strong there. Very controlled from Ema. Very controlled. Again into the fig four, and at this point, if she can hit this holding control, she's going to surpass Naji Galyamova's high point, and that's going to climb her way into second place, especially if she can make this clip. Ema makes the clip, and that's a second place for her at the moment. Of course, we've still got Wunshan Shin to climb. She takes the left hand up onto that small edge. She's got 30 seconds. She's just going to have to do everything that she can at this point. Going for the high point. Places that left hand. And she's Puts definitely the fig in nine. speed mode now. She certainly is. Climbing with that aggression that we saw yesterday and she drops down in control. Looking really good. Come on, Ema. 10 seconds left. Reaches with that drag, but it's so hard to clip. She needs that clip. And that clip will definitely count in the rankings. Come on, Ema. and her time's up and she's not clipped it but she did make contact with that hold and she's going to rest will she want to cut loose I think she'll probably want to make that clip rather than take the lob oh gosh you can see she's not psyched come on Ema there she goes takes a deep breath bit of a crack in the back but your man on the belay did a great job that was such a good go for her. Awesome effort from Ema yeah. McSwiggin, especially after she climbed so slow in those initial stages. She really found the pace towards the end and put in a great attempt on this lady's final route. She was so close to making that final clip too. So close. And as we saw with Angelica, it really is a case of getting the weight across before you try and make the clip. Let's see that in replay. We can see some of those initial hard moves. takes that left hand side into that undercut and we saw how controlled she was at this point. All the way from Korea, Big move up for that right hand. Oh, and so solid when she hit that in the fig four. And this is where she really picked up the pace. Then cut loose into that box. So solid. 